What a day, as Harvey Price would say. And what a fucking day. I'm up to the, uh, I've got going up to the Fit Expo in Liverpool. And fuck me, the traffic has been shite today. It's been really bad. I had to stop off, you know, the usual sort of piss. Because as a bodybuilder, you drink more water than the average Joe. You need to piss more often. I don't mind traveling. I don't mind it, but my lower back is frazzled sitting in this car for as long as what I have. Yeah, it's just to, to the point now where I just want to fucking sit on my side like this. We're up to Liverpool. I'm from Liverpool. TV Gerard, Gerard. He slipped on his fucking ass. He gave it to them. Ba Gerard, Gerard. Where you from, mate? You know Stanley? If anyone's with the football factory, that is a classic football factory scene. Where are you from, mate? Just around. You fucking Chelsea, aren't you? Yeah. You flash cockney bastards. You know Stanley? <laughs> Where are you from, mate? Just around. You fucking Chelsea, aren't you? Yeah. You flash cockney bastard. You know Stanley? He whips out a Stanley knife, innit? Ah, oh, that film came out in 2004. I checked. Fuck me. Brings back memories, man. Anyway, enough waffling. Let's get to fucking. I was gonna say Birmingham. Let's get to Liverpool. The good thing about being uh, on a road trip is get to bang the playlist out. And you know it's gonna get a little bit drilly up north. Yo. Now I'm off back and I'm back in Kung Fu knows where the camera is heading Can't slide on a P that's dumb or you'll see as guns and unlimited chefings Balls, hands on swords, pop them doors, it's all for the pause Me and Mads went to struck ball, I gave him three but it should have been four So you crushed that ball, no made it, they took smoke for the one that cancer I'm to Tesco's, we're staying on track for the weekend We just found these rice noodles, check these bad boys out, the macros, yeah? Per serving, which is 45 grams, 37 carb Zero fat, free protein. Come on. Might give them a go though. It's one of those ones where you don't know if it's fucking good or not. Whether they're just going to taste like shite. However, don't ever fucking try this shit. Don't. This smells like fucking fishy fanny, brother. I swear. Some of these blue eggs. These are good. So I think this is what's going to last me for the next... Literally two days. Bagels, stir fry stuff, chicken breast, cereal, some vegetables, some rice noodles, apples, and obviously some shower gel. You never had this one before. Fuck me, it's pain. You come out fresh like daisies, you know? You know when you come to a different part of the country, it feels very weird. Like, I don't often come up north. The only time I've been in Liverpool is when I picked up my car, <laughs> and that was, uh, last October now and when people go you're right mate what aisle you're using card mate it's like fucking oh mate I'm not used to it I'm like um I'll go to that one over there thank you so yeah very very weird I must admit coming up to uh coming up to the north especially when you're down south you know geezer geezer lads 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 where's where's the biz you know where's the titties I like it welcome to Liverpool good morning I've just woke whoa the lighting is shit here Good morning, I've just woken up, as you can probably hear by my voice and my fucking eyes. Oh my god, what a journey, what a night's sleep. Remind myself, yeah, to never, and this is any advice for you guys, if you are not about that life, I'd say the partying sort of lifestyle, don't book an Airbnb right in the middle of Liverpool, because fuck me, all night it's just fucking people shouting, people being pissed and I ain't got no problem with it because it reminds me back of the uni days but fuck me, like when you're trying to sleep it's just like, oh. But we're here, that's the main thing and I'm going to show you around in a second but the first one, I need a fucking morning poo. <laughs> I need to lay a brick down the toilet, the first one here, you know, always standard, need a bit of time with that. Do you want to go to bed? No, come on. What's up? Nothing's up. Why don't you want to go to bed? No, you can't. Huh? No, you can't. <laughs> oh, man. You drunk too much? No. Welcome to the crib. First of all, this is really annoying. I know I'm a bit of a complainer, but the light switch for the bathroom, this is the bathroom, by the way, is here. So you have to press that button. Why is it not here when I go into it? Because all of a sudden you're dying for a poo and it's pitch black. You've got to go back here to turn the light on. It just doesn't make sense in my opinion. This is the bathroom. The water is cold. And here's me, big boss. 
Do that one handed, side, side chest one handed. What is that? <laughs> oh, allow it, fuck it up. This video is shit. Left a bit of skiddies, you know? Yeah, laundry room there. An iron and some other bits and bobs. Got a mirror here, again. Here's me. Oh, shit. The bedroom. Very plain. I had nowhere to dry the towel, so I just thought I'd hang it on there. It was classy. Bed. I've got the fucking view of the fucking scouts me. Here we fucking go. Here's a view. Oh my god, at night time, yeah? I didn't realise how, how many people go out in this place. It was fucking heaving at night and it's so loud. So many people are just pissed and they just don't give a fuck. This is what it looks like. Got a little Rolex shop down there. Might get myself a little Roly when I leave in it. Cheers. That's a joke, by the way. I'm not a big fan of watches. Never really been, never seen the fascination over it. So yeah, got that down there. Literally, the expedition is literally just down. It's about a two minute drive. I'm driving because it's raining and I'm not walking. I refuse to do that. Come out here. Let me go into the, I paid about 160 pound a night to stay here. Got the living room, haven't watched any TV yet. Sorry about the mess on the floor, just allow it in it. All that. Kitchen area again, sorry about this table, just a bit of a mess in it. And then obviously got this all over here. The annoying thing is, yeah, imagine, yeah, they've got a they got old spatula, yeah? I had to go and buy a fucking pan in knife from Tesco's. They did not have a pan. This place only has mugs. It's not got any glasses. Like, what the fuck is this about, bruv? What, what's going on, innit? Welcome to my world. This is where I'm staying in Liverpool. Ever since I've been here, you can't even see it from the window, it is absolutely hammering it down. All it's done so far since I've been here is rain. Is this what it's like up in Liverpool, yeah? Just prepping some meals for today. I put this on a plate just simply because I want it to cool down quicker. If I put it in a tubware and then I put it with some cold stuff, it's just not going to work. So just put it on a plate, spread it out a little bit like that. Come on. It will help it cool down obviously a little bit quicker. Cream of rice, fucking shadow. Cream of rice, love eating that cold now. I've, I didn't realize you could eat cream of rice cold and it tastes just as good. It's fucking unbelievable. What I've done in the past when I've came to expos is I've just freestyled like my nutrition, get whatever I can when I get there, wherever it is, it is. And then I moan about my digestion being poor and then I moan about not being on track and I wonder why I'm not progressing in the gym. This time round, I've brought my meal prep bag. I've been more organized, I've been more structured and I've told myself I can keep on top of this side of things and still have a little bit of freedom as well. So probably later today, I'm probably gonna get like a burger or some sort. The meals that I can control, I'm controlling. And that's the most important thing that I've changed recently and just living that bodybuilding lifestyle. Like I should be going to expos and taking my meals with me because that's what I would do if I wasn't there. Same process applies. Slap man out of his Jordans, give us some species, but so jam, jam, jam. DR on me and bro, where's baby out? He don't need no cram. If, 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 didn't work out, I'll probably smash it off. Hit him up with a bat. Jack on the wing, just swinging his jab. Back, back, she's been verified in a can. Been, been, been verified in a trap. Five friends, two teams, he's more than a trap. I'm far from prince, I'm thick on the kid. He's there, he ain't no trap in my back. No paparazzi, bro. Everyone says I'm a no, buzzer, no, nuts like no snickers. Pups, no paparazzi, bro. No paparazzi, bro. How are you using demand? Actually, I'm not, oh shit, I am. Yeah, I, I need to learn to look at that. You need to look at this, not that. Okay, yeah. Because okay. that's the issue, because I look at this. Yeah, I'm going like this. That's again, that's right. And that's the hardest thing, because normally they flip over like that. So, uh, we're in Christian. Oh, it's Matt Strom. And uh, I thought I'd come and say hello, get you on the vlog. On the vlog. And because uh, everyone loves you, and they always ask. Apparently, I don't think that. I think most people hate me and think I'm a cunt. But... I disagree with that. I think. I think you're funny, you're a good lad. <laughs> and uh, one thing we'll do is we'll arrange this training session very soon. We're both in off season yes. now. Well, you are, not me, I'm always been in it. But now you're a bit more freer with your time. Yeah, we'll we've said it for so long, like, oh, let's get a session, let's get a session. But I felt like shit. It's one of so those long. ones, isn't it, where you say, get a session, you get a session, but you never do. Yeah, because it's like, I can't be asked to, oh, I've got to take my food here, I've got to prep this here, I've got to travel, yeah. I've got to arrange check ins to do it this time. Now it's just so much more freedom because I can feel like I can just like relax a little bit. I agree. Um, I agree. But yeah, we're gonna get a session and we'll get it on the we'll get on the tube. old tube. Yeah, and then we'll fuck shit up, mate. Fucking hell. Apparently the best burger place in Liverpool is called Almost Famous. It was suggested by a lot of you guys on Instagram. Shout out to Mandem. Gone for a few suggestions. So one of my clients, Matty, actually recommended the bacon bacon fries. I haven't had bacon in ages. Don't really like bacon, I think it's a bit of a dirty meat, I'll be honest with you there. 
But the burger I've gone for is called This Is Liverpool. So we're gonna see whether this is fucking good. Right, so this is this is Liv, so that's a burger. And then we're going to do that fine. So don't watch me eat. Okay? That's fine. I won't watch you eat. Right, let's find out. Oh my god, I can smell the bacon. I know this is gonna. Hello, mate. There we go. Let's give you a taste test. See what these fucking things are saying. It's got a mixture between sweet fries, sweet potato fries. It's got a mixture between sweet potato fries, regular fries. It's got some sauce on it. And it's got some bacon meat. Fucking bacon. I've had a really long day and this is uh Wow. I don't know what to say about it, it's very very good. They are fantastic. Matty, shout out Matty if you're watching this mate. Great decision. Great decision. Let's try the burger over here. We don't really want to be recording all this fucking time. We'll have a mouthful of the burger. Okay. Okay, I can't open the fucking box. There we go. It's got chips in it, bro. What? Holy smokes. Holy fuck. Holy shit. Look at that bad boy. Jesus Christ. Okay. This is going to be a big mouth. I don't know if my mouth is that big. I don't have a big head, but I don't know if my mouth is that big. Whoop. Holy fuck. Oh, it's all in my beard. Look at that. It's all in my fucking beard. Disgusting cunt. Well, oh, it's got like. It's got like chick. It's got chips in it, but it's got curry sauce in it as well. I can smell the curry sauce. I love curry sauce. Mm. Check that out. It looks like, through what I can see in the camera lens, it just looks like a fucking mess. Let me have another, another mouthful. Okay. 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 They gave me no napkins. They gave me no napkins. After that little taste, look at that in my fucking beard. I'm gonna keep that in the bit. Look at that. I'm gonna keep that in the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're watching me with fucking shit in my beard. I used to watch Beard Meets Food, and he does a lot of food challenges, but he'd get all this shit in his beard, and it made me. I just wanted to be sick when I looked at it, especially when I was eating. I was like, nah, I can't watch this. It's disgusting. Got back last night, and after that food, I crashed. Went to bed at nine o'clock. Haven't fallen asleep at nine o'clock since school days, when I used to go to bed at school. Mum and Dad used to tell me to go to bed at nine, used to go to sleep at nine, get up at seven. Fucking hell, I needed that. I feel really good. I actually think I need to actually go to sleep earlier than what I do right now and get some more sleep. Yeah, I mentioned yesterday, obviously, I helped out Will and just put the stuff back. I've never worked that hard in my life, I tell you. When I talk about physically doing stuff, like, Unloading vans, putting stuff on vans is fucking hard work. I've got a client, Will, who might watch this. He does removals and he does like 40,000 steps a day. Sometimes four or five times a week. I think, fucking hell. And I've just done like 12 and a half thousand steps, but a lot of it was fucking moving boxes, that sort of stuff. So physical. It fucks you up, man. And uh, it makes you realize when you do something like that, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I'm so used to sitting at home, being on my laptop, speaking, not bloody physically walking about and doing all this sort of stuff. It was good. You know, the expo was really, really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I appreciate everyone that came and said hello. If you're watching this right now, thank you so much for coming and say hello. I always want to make sure I chat to people and, you know, make an effort with them instead of just going, oh, do you want a photo? That's it. And then they go fuck off. And um, it's not me as a person. I like to sit down, like stand up in this case and, and talk to them and get to know them and them ask me questions, I ask them questions. They just have a good old laugh, you know, good old laugh because that's what it's all about. And I hope people who watch my videos go, actually, George is exactly, you, you get what you see almost. Like, George is the exact same person. He's not fucking someone who chats shit and all this sort of stuff. So, uh, yes, thank you to everyone. 2K Who Game Over. We are going on to Prophecy Gym this morning before I travel back. I stayed here till Monday because I knew it would be a late one on the... Uh, on the Sunday, so I, I got back here, chilled, and then this morning I'm gonna leave. I got book out at 11. Just make sure I clean this fucking place. That's it, I don't wanna leave no fucking marks, because they'll be like, oh, you did this, that's 50 pound. Like once when I was competing, I obviously left a bit of tan on the spread, oh, spreadsheets, fuck me. Coaching, yeah? Yeah, we're doing some coaching, yeah? On some bed sheets. Obviously to replace bed sheets, it's probably like 12, 13, 14, I don't know, 15 quid, it's not expensive, 50 pound. Yeah, 50 pound for fucking bed sheets, you mad. So yeah, we make sure when we leave Airbnbs, we leave it immaculate and we also take fucking photos in case they go, oh, you've done this, you've done that. 
Prove it. Here's the photos, bruv. Prove it, you know? Cover your fucking backs. These some Airbnb these Airbnbs are dodgy. Like this one hasn't had any hot water. Had to buy a fucking frying pan. Don't trust them. Don't trust any fucker around here. Anyway, enough waffling. We're gonna go to prophecy. We're gonna enjoy that. I'm gonna have a coffee, first coffee in a fucking year. Don't drink coffee too much. Hopefully I don't shit myself on the way there. It's about a 15 minute drive or something like that. We've arrived at the Northwest Mecca, apparently, Prophecy Gym. Georgie Boy will be the judge of that, you know. He's always gonna be honest about They could be talking 16s or 250 grams The semi-line semi name concerning Feds doing seats, I'm feeling nervous Plus four fours or aunts are swerving Can't serve it if I don't know that person Hands off on line, still earning Cookie, I'm selling Cali, I'm burning Me, with me, got that for certain No dust, just buzz, that's perfect Moving nutty on your block for your buddies You don't show love like Sherman If we discharge this cartridge Shots won't pass him, they're gonna burn him Couldn't give a toss about them man's health No feds over there when we pulled up The man them hit that quick like cells Popped out, bro, dish them shells Flipping, flip, flipping hell. This life is shit, but I'm making the most. My Joe phone's been online for six years. Bros done H on Pebs in O. Gang, my fam, no friends, just bros. Touch on the mind, and it's time to grow. And, and it ain't gonna be good news if I pull up and start raising a toast. Both heat ups to spray and both. And me, and me, I just drip it and spit it. O A E, chef down couple ups. Now all night, eat till my young boys sing it. Then it's rounding this video with a voiceover as my camera decided to die about halfway through. So using my phone within these clips. You can tell the difference between the wider lens and obviously the iPhone 12 Pro Max, which still has a very good camera quality, by the way. So Prophecy Gym, what was it like? What's my review on it? It's a very good gym. It's not my best gym I've ever been to. Like, it's up there with being a really, really good gym, but I certainly would say it's a lot smaller than what I thought. I like the Panatta kit, and at the same time, I don't like the Panatta kit. I think some of it is shit. Some of it is really good. Um, they had like the Arsenal press, incline press, which you saw in the previous clip. They had a like incline uh, chest fly machine, which you'll see probably in the next clip after this sort of heavy tricep press that I decided to do. Yeah, it was it was a good gym. It was a good gym. There's a lot of bodybuilders there. There's a lot of meat heads there. If you want to call it that, fucking people stare like fucking. You want some? You have some of this? You know that sort of stuff. It's like okay, mate. I'm only five foot six and I'm natty and I've got nothing. To to do it with you, I'm so sorry. It's a bit like that, isn't it? <laughs> You're a bit scared when you look at these sort of people. But they didn't know how to blade in the car, you know? Don't fucking mess with me, innit? Ching man up. Anyway, enough of that. Yeah, tired though. I must admit, I didn't train Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I trained on the Monday, so I pretty much took three days off in a row. And this was just more of like a pumpy sort of session. But <laughs> surprise, surprise, the, the pumpy sort of sessions where I didn't really take serious... I woke up the next day and I was sore as fuck. Like my triceps were sore, my chest was sore. And I think it was just because I did exercises that I've never done before. Normally when I do something new, just it, it, the novelty of that just creates some sort of soreness, which is which is fine. And I was recovered by the next day or so. So yeah, it was good. Good gym. Good. I'd recommend it if you're up in the, the northwest sort of area, um, even just traveling and, and trialing it out for yourself. It's, it's a very good gym, um, friendly friendly enough people not everyone's friendly in there everyone's there you like what the fuck are you looking at but i just wanted to uh to say that again you know thank you to everyone that came over to me and uh, supplement mad over the weekend it was it was fantastic i loved it it's my first ever time like being on a stand at an expo normally i've been that guy in the audience or that guy just walks around and tries to meet some of his fans fans followers and all that sort of stuff 
but this time I had a, like a base where I could stand, which I told myself, believe it or not, when I first started YouTube, that in five years of doing it, I will be at that point where I can stand there and people will come and greet me. And I've been able to achieve that. So I was over the moon about that. I set myself that goal. And even the final year, I was able to, to tick that box off. So no matter how hard you guys work, I've always wanted to do it. I don't know why. I've always wanted to be on, on a stand and tell people, look, come say hello to me. I'm over here instead of me walking around. Uh, so that was an achievement. And like I've always said, the sky's the limit. You know, if you want to make something happen, if you want to be in this industry, you got to work hard for it, man. And uh, I'm hoping now that I can showcase that and the rewards are paying off, which is always nice. You know, I don't necessarily do it for that, but it's sometimes nice to see rewards like that, if you get what I mean. So yeah, guys, I mean, I'm going to end this video here. I hope everyone's well. Um, you'll see some more frequent videos over the week. I'll try and upload every two days. I just had a bit of a shit time playing catch up, obviously, from the, the expo itself last weekend. But yeah, uh, lots of love. And as ever, keep supporting the Georgie boy. Keep liking the videos. Keep commenting. What can we comment down below? Comment down below Liverpool. Do something like that. I don't know. Anyway, enough waffling. Let's go. Bye. Slap man out of his Jordans, give us some space, these wipes won't jam Jam, jam, PR on me and bro boys, baby out, he don't need no pram If, if, did a whack it, I'll probably smash yo Hit him up with a bat, Jack on the wing just swinging his jab Facts, he's been verified in a can Been, been, been verified in a trap 500 G's is more than a trap Far from, far from rich, I don't think I'm the kid 